After a long week of assessments and execution, the 2016 Sullivan Cup has come to a close. Named after General Gordon Sullivan, the Sullivan Cup was designed to find the best tank crews in the Army. This year, 16 crews from all across the Army and Canada battled for the title. They were given a menu of tasks to train for, but we haven't told them what they're getting tested on. So they, it's all about the train up and getting prepared for it, so they'll be that much better of a crew when they get done with this. During the week-long competition, tank crews tested their skills in events such as land navigation, tank preparation, medical evacuation, and night exercises. So each individual event appeared to be pretty easy, but if you threw them all together, it was fairly challenging. You just got to ask the crews. It all came down to a thunder run shootout between the top five crews. The final crews were scored based on defensive, offensive, and assault maneuvers and firing accuracy. And so a true test of a tanker is when you throw them out there in the range and you throw some, uh, throw some targets at them and let them engage and destroy the enemy. So it'll be fun to watch. All right. All right. This year, the winners were announced at the 2016 Armor Ball. First place. The 1st Battalion, 252nd Armor, 30th uh, ABCT, North Carolina National Guard. So to be in the National Guard and to win this, it's, it's amazing. When they called us up there, it surprised us all. We were nervous, hearts were racing. It was, it was a surreal moment. The, the Armor School is answering the demand from the Chief to raise the readiness level of the United States Army. Participating tank crews gained a wealth of knowledge that they can take back to their units and teach others, thereby producing more effective and battle-ready tankers. The next Sullivan Cup will be held in 2018. Charles Gilbert, Fort Benning, Georgia.